Coming up on the Talon News. Mrs. Hill shares reasons why students should join her health and nutrition class. The Argyle Acapella Group works hard to make their debut album. Right Around the Corner is one of the most renowned film acting studios. Argyle Baseball works hard this season. And, and this, this is, is a View from, from the Nest. nest. Hey Eagles, welcome to the Towns Broadcast. I'm Carly Haynes. And I'm Campbell Wilmot. Introduced in the fall of 2018, the health and nutrition class has become a popular class chosen by students. Lauren Landrum gives us the inside scoop. If you're a person who enjoys cooking or just loves to eat, then uh, taking Lifetime Nutrition and Wellness um, is a great choice for you. It counts towards the business and industry or the STEM endorsements. And then also we have the whole culinary track that we've just added. This year we're starting with Introduction to Culinary Arts where students are just going to learn the basics of how to set up a restaurant and what are the potential um, careers available. The way we prepare food can enhance the nutrition or destroy the nutrition. And so teaching students how to prepare foods properly to gain the most nutrition and the most health benefit. It's fun just to see how you can take that science and improve your skills. And then everybody's going to want to come over to your house for dinner because they know you've got the skill and the know-how to make it happen. It'll be delicious. Be sure to consider the health and nutrition class for next year when picking your schedule. AHS has offered many new clubs and classes this year like that of Miss Hills. The Remedy Acapella Group, a new club also added this year, has worked hard to prepare their new album. Lauren Metcalf, Hannah Wood, and Campbell Wilmot got a closer look. After just being created three years ago, the AHS Acapella Group has recently began producing music. This year they decided to release an album. We spoke with the members as well as the director about their upcoming album. The members of the a cappella group chose the name Remedy due to the healing effect that they hope their music will have. Well, the album is called In the Trenches. It's about being real with yourself and others, and it's about trying to embrace what you're going through and knowing that you have people there that are going to support you no matter what. Remedy's new album has a theme of caring that is felt throughout the entire group. Choir director Will Griswold explains what some of the songs in the album are about. One of the songs is called I'll Be There For You, um, or it's called I'll Be There, and the whole concept is just, you know, you're, you're dealing with something and I'm going to be there for you no matter what happens. Um, another song, Brother, which, you know, gives us this idea that you know we are as strong uh, to get we're strong together we're strong like a family like brother and sister like brother and brother are like sister and sister we're gonna have that strong bond with each other no matter what's no matter what's going on um, and the last song suit and jacket um, it's kind of more like a celebration of our youth and just to come back and remember this time when we were really there for each other and really just celebrated being with each other and around each other and all the good things that we got out of this time here in high school with this group. In addition to creating a bond throughout the group, Remedy hopes to reach other people through their music. What I think is special about this group is that we all have one common thing in mind, which is to like reach people through music on a deeper level. It's not just like performing for ourselves and getting the district to notice us or coming out with an album for ourselves. Like Grizzold really likes to I guess like say all the time that this isn't about us, it's about reaching other people. So that's what I really love about it. Remedy plans to release their album this month and for it to be available for purchase on all music sites. So we don't have a, a, a one day yet that it'll be released, um, but as soon as we know, we will let everybody know. Um, but it will most likely be the last couple weeks of May. Um, we're in the process right now of trying to get all of our licenses and copyright finished. And once that is finished, uh, we will be able to release um, to Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, YouTube Music, all of the major streaming platforms. You'll be able to go on and type in Remedy and find our album. This has been Hannah Wood, Campbell Wilmot, and Laura Metcalf reporting for the Talent News. Their album is set to be released at the end of this May.
While these students are honing in on their musical abilities, some other students have chosen to go down the acting for film route. A studio located in Louisville, Texas, Catherine Sullivan's Acting for Film has become a home for many actors and a door to get in. Join Jake Poole, Carly Haynes, and Georgia Penn as they get an inside look at the studio. Catherine Sullivan's Acting for Film studio has been in session for almost 20 years now. We took a deeper look at the students and staff here to see what it really takes to succeed in the film industry. Catherine Sullivan is the owner and head coach of Catherine Sullivan's Acting for Film based in Louisville, Texas. She started off as an actress, but when she got her first taste of directing, she fell in love with coaching. First group of stars were Selena Gomez, I'm on her E! Hollywood story. Demi Lovato had her for six years. Bryce Geyser was in Disney's Walk the Prank. He was also in Wonder. He played the bully, a really good bully in that, and A Dog's Purpose. Hollywood has received many more of Catherine's students, like her own son, Cody Lindley, former aides Thomas Mann and Bryce Cass, Ann Winters, Katie Sarife, Haley Arantia, Mallory Mahoney, and many more great actors. Catherine's classes are structured through building blocks as each student will start from the beginner's level and rise up through each class. She also has aides who take on the part of coaching before they are seen by her. Um, as an aide, I will watch them, give them some notes, some constructive criticism to help facilitate their growth. Catherine is responsible for many students receiving representation and connections to industry guests that she brings to the studio. One thing that Kathy says a lot is that hard work beat talents when talent doesn't work hard. It's not about the talent, you know, it's attitude, passion, being on time, being prepared. Um, you know, having that work ethic. Several of Argyle students have been taking with Catherine Sullivan, including Slade Monroe, who has been with her for five years. One of the most important things that Kathy has taught me is the ability to be adaptive. Because of her, really, I had the confidence to play an assortment of characters. And I was only able to do that because she has such knowledge in this industry. Catherine has grounded her students in hard work and dedication for their passion and has made their dreams reality. She's really taught me how to have grit and empathy and I think that those two skills specifically have really helped me become the person that I am today. I am the actor that I am today and all of the opportunities that I've had is somehow connected through the studio. There's a saying by Dolly Parton and she says figure out who you are and do it on purpose. And I think at the studio, we really try to do that. This has been Carly Haynes, Jake Poole, and Georgia Penn reporting for the Talent News. Summer classes are available online, and you can find them on www.catherinesylvan.com. The 2019 Argyle baseball team works diligently to bring home another state championship this year. Our reporters, Karina Navarro, Sloan Dial, Kayla Ralph, and Karen Lund, talked to our coaches and some of the teammates. The 2018-2019 Argyle baseball season is running its course with many victories. We get an inside look by talking to the head coach and student athletes of the team. We want to set a, uh, a dominant tone definitely this year, keep it going from last year. The tone of the dugout uh, during the games is uh, really loud, it's really fun. We like to mess around and just have a good time. To prepare for a game, the athletes stretch and do drills to help loosen up before they play. We usually prepare the games by trying to play a few games of flip, but we try to, some will stretch eventually, but mainly just play some flip. Our team prepares for games. It's kind of like a pre-game thing where we play a flip, and it's kind of our routine thing that we do. The players discuss how they benefit from losses and wins to help their team in future games. Tying in Laredo was pretty rough. Uh, that was our first loss to break the streak, so that one was kind of hard, but we came back, finished the tournament with some wins, and we've been going strong again, so that's good. This sport gives student athletes an opportunity to grow closer and learn good sportsmanship. Uh, my favorite part about baseball is just kind of just going out there and having fun. I've really done it since, since I was really young, and um, I just look to try to continue to do that. My favorite part about baseball is Probably the brotherhood of baseball. We all have a really good bond together and uh, have played sports in the past, so we really connect and it's just really fun to go out there and play. This has been Sloan Dial, Karina Navarro, Kiernan Lund, and Kayla Ralph reporting for the Talon News. The team's next game will be on Saturday, May 11th, playing against Graham in Brock, Texas. Thanks for watching and be sure to follow us at the Talon News on Instagram and Twitter. And for more stories following your life, visit www.thetalonnews.com.
And for the last time, be sure to tune in next time as we discover Argyle one story at a time.